Hey, hey guys, it is August 30th, is it? Yes, it's August 30th and per the usual, I have all your fashion news, so I'm not gonna make you wait and we're gonna jump right in. Vogue UK Online is totally revamped, you guys, so the British site looks so chic. It's been online for 17 years, so it's not new, but as far as fashion goes, it was definitely and still is a go-to site. So the editor of the site says the redesigned site offers the Vogue UK user an experience which is closer to that of a print magazine whilst continuing to capitalize on the timeliness, newsworthiness, and excitement of the web. So that's really exciting and obviously it looks even more gorgeous than usual. So it's going to have a minute by minute coverage of New York Fashion Week so make sure you are checking that out. Fashion Week starts next week. Woo! Really excited! Alright, Savorsky Collection will be working with 11 designers during Fashion Week. So Women's Wear Daily is reporting this. So they're going to be working with Rodarte, Altuzara, and so many more for their Spring 2013 collections. And who doesn't love a little glitz? I know I sure do. In another Fashion Week news, Cindy Lauper is set to play at Betsy Johnson's Fashion Week presentation. Now we all know Betsy Johnson for her crazy fashion, her crazy runway shows. She always does a cartwheel to finish it off, but at New York Fashion Week during her presentation on September 11th, Page Six has revealed that Cindy Lauper will be playing. That's so awesome. So Betsy Johnson. And it's also going to have a mini celebration of Betsy Johnson's 70th birthday. Can you believe that? I sure can't. In other news, Chanel launches Blue Illusion. So this is a new makeup kind of nail polish line. It's all kinds of blue hues and it's gorgeous. So we've got ombre eyeshadow in two shades. We've got a nail polish in this like pearly, almost iridescent Tiffany's blue and it's amazing. And all of this will be available in September. All right, you guys, Kim Kardashian is finally out of court. So her lawsuit with the Old Navy lookalike is done and done. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, Kim Kardashian Kardashian sued Old Navy back in July of 2011 and said that the company used a model that looked like her and in turn she thought that it could confuse consumers. No real details were released on what exactly happened in court. All we know is what her lawyer said and he said quote the lawsuit was resolved to the mutual satisfaction of the parties. So basically it's over done and done. All right Deborah Lippman dabbles in lipstick. Now we all know and love her for her nails and now she's introducing nail and lip duos and she says quote it was important for me to create a lipstick that was creamy shiny and easy to use just like my polishes we cannot wait for this to come out so excited about this all right you guys project runway alumni are designing for Lord and Taylor so as we all know it's the 10th anniversary of the show and someone from each season made a dress for under $350 which is semi budget they're all on Lord and Taylor and you can start shopping the collection tomorrow now another TV news it's a Brad Brad world is back Bravo announced it will return for a second season. Now, here is the crazy part. We still don't know if Rachel Zoe's show has been renewed. And if you don't know, Brad Goreski was Rachel's old assistant. So this could be a little bit awkward. And I'm gonna leave you on this awkward note and we'll see you bright and early Friday morning. Bye guys.